guys so coming in with this requested video from one of my fancy beauties and it's just going to be a attempt it's going to be an attempt okay at uh, a cut crease and it's going to be a natural cut crease so <sighs> here we go get ready to dive in so if you want to see me fail or succeed keep on watching <laughs> All right, Fancy Beauties and Bones, so I have one eye done already, and we're gonna see if I can do this on this eye without making any errors. So we're gonna go in first with our um, Soft Ochre by MAC, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over. And then I'm just gonna take some translucent powder. This is by NYC. And I just wanna set that in place. And hopefully that will help me keep my look all day without creasing. And just brush it away. We're not doing any baking or anything with that. Now we're gonna go into our transition color or our base color. And I'm just gonna go in with a peach color from Inglot. And I'm just gonna put that all over. Just one little swipe. Then I'm gonna go back in with another color from my LA Girl Neon palette. And we're gonna just put that right over here, close to the brow bone, and build that color up. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm gonna go in now with a soft pink like a blush color and just to soften that edge up now we're going to go into our Inglot palette and we're going to grab a orange color out of there and we're going to place that right underneath that peach color because we want that to still peek through and this color I'm going to keep building it until I get the intensity that I'm looking for. Okay so now we have that color intensified right here I'm gonna go in to a like a really dark burgundy maroon color and I'm gonna place that right above my crease and right into that orange color. And as with the orange, I'm going to go ahead and start taking that out to the end of my brow. And again, just keep placing this until you get the look you're looking for. And you're gonna have to keep going back and forth into the orange and then back into this color and blend any harsh lines away. So 
now I'm going to go back into the orange from the Inglot palette and put that color back so it doesn't get lost. into that dark color using what I had left on the brush and with that first brush we're just going to blend out any harshness buggy take a clean Blending brush, this one has been clean since I did my other eye, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna merge those colors together. And then go back in to that dark color and bring it back. Now I'm going to go into a really dark brown in the Inglot palette and now I'm focusing in on the crease and cutting the crease. The cut crease color, if you're not going to use a pen to outline it, I like to keep my eye open so I know where I should cut that line up to. And then just keep going back and forth with those colors. I'm going to do that off camera. And I'll Now that I have the gradation that I'm looking for, it's still not as dramatic as I would like for it to be. So I'm going to take a black and I'm going to take a really small pencil brush and I'm going to go deeper into that crease right above it actually and then I'm going to blend this out into the other colors. And you already know what's next. <laughs> We're going to start all the way over again and blend it. I'm not adding any color. It's whatever is on the brush is what we're using. Now time to cut the crease and I'm going to use the soft ochre again along with that cute little brush. And I'm putting product on both sides of the brush and I'm just going to keep my eye open as much as I can.
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lid color, which is also from the Inglot palette. Okay, once you have the lid color placed, I don't like messy, so I gotta get this off. Then, if I need any doing touch ups or what have you, I'll go back in now. liner and I'm laughing because I had a faux pas on this eye <laughs> so we're going to skip all that and we're going straight for the liner alright guys so my battery or my memory I was running out so I finished correcting my my liner so I'm going to take some Revlon brush on glitter and just to give it a little oomph and I'm just going to put this right above well, let's have fun and put it all over the This for you, Fancy Beauty. <laughs> All right. Take you out just a little bit. Out, Gina, out. Okay. So, this is what we're looking like right now. So, I think, uh, this will be a cute little look for um, the holiday. Yeah. So let me go ahead and finish the face and I'll be back because we got to do some under the eye. Okay guys, so I put my makeup on and I stuck that lash on. I used for my foundation, I used the L'Oreal infallible and this is the matte I'm um, color cocoa in this one and I also topped it with the Mac studio finish and I am in color NC 50 in this one so I just put both of these together now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my contour and I bronze back my face, put some shape back in it. I'm using my all time favorite. And for my contouring, I'm gonna just use a regular brush and do this in my cheekbones. First, we'll do this first. Now, for under here, I'm going to use this. Let's see if I got one open already first. It's cool tan, and I'm just trying to see if I have one open already. It's fun. It's toppy. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. So I don't have one open already. So let me. You know what? I have uh, almond open. Let's try almond um, for my highlight. Uh, that looked like it's going to be a little too light, but let's see. Oh, nope. We can use it. I kind of don't want to do anything underneath the eyes, guys, because it's giving me this wide awake look. And we're gonna just blend it out. So you could probably tell on this eye, I did do some work under there. I think I'll do the same thing on this eye and call it. Now, go in a little strong on that contour. Go ham on it. the same colors that I used a layer down here. And take the brown. That's all I use is a little. And going in with my pencil. Just to open that up. And go back in. Just to smudge it out. Now, y'all, <laughs> I have not gotten good with doing my lower lash, but I'm going to try anyway, and I'm going to use this double extend. Looks like this, but I'm not going to use this part. I'm just going to use the um, brush, the part, this part, the regular part. I don't know if it did anything, but mm. 
Mm. It ain't do nothing. I already know where life is going to. Alright, so I'm gonna take this off my face. Okay, now blush time, because I'm done with everything else. I ain't doing nothing else to nothing. I already screwed up. <laughs> Fancy beauty, I'm sorry. I know you said neutral, and it just went a whole nother way, so I owe you one. Um, so I'm just going to go into my Coastal Scents. Um, blush palette and um, use this these two on the end and just mix those together <laughs> oh my gosh you asked for one thing and I gave you something totally different yeah I owe you one. Okay. Some highlighter. And we going with Missy Lynn. Yeah, I know how I feel about her chat. We gonna use uh, one of those. We gonna use the, the bronze color. Yeah, we use the bronze color. I like that one. Um, dum, 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 dum. Now the lippy, and I'm going to use. We used the brown, same brown I used on my uh, brows. This very second, I just realized I have a little thing. Cupid's bow, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do two colors. We're going to do the neutral, which is 215 by, and this is um, tol totally toppy. <laughs> My favorite. And I'm going to do some touch ups and I'll be right back with the modelization. I was going to say the second look, but uh, lippy. But let me, because we got to do the modelization. You know. Oh, 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 oh,